just love me, yeah, I know. Good morning. Good morning. In just a minute, I'm going to read you a story from the Gospel of St. Matthew, and it's about Jesus. And what I'm going to talk to you about is about the story you're going to hear. But I need to ask you a question first. You ready? Ready for the question? How many of you can legally drive? None of, none of you raised your hands. Not, not legally, right? Can't drive legally yet. So let's see. If I then were to offer you a car, if I were to say, hey, do you want a car? Would you say yes or no? What, what type of car? Four wheels and it runs. You want an SUV, huh? Yeah. Right, so we've got some people that would say no to the car, some people that would say yes, some who might say yes, depending on the kind of car that it is, and some who might say yes because even if they can't use it, Maybe somebody else could, huh? That's what you said, right? I could maybe get it to somebody that needed it. Yeah. One good reason might be, well, you're not driving today, but do you someday expect to drive? Yeah, yeah someday, right? You're never going to drive? Ever going to drive? Good for you, public transit. Right, one day. By that point, they might actually be done with it. Um, <laughs> Oops. Uh, so one day you will actually want a car. Many of you will want a car. And you would already have one, so you have it, even though you don't need it today. And of course, you could always, if you had it, share it with somebody that needs it, because there are, are those people around us. In our story today, in the story about Jesus, Jesus is offering a gift to people that may not need it right away, to some that do need it right away, and to others that don't even know they need it. And how they respond to the gifts that Jesus is offering, you know, is really interesting to listen for. One of the people in, the, in our story comes looking for Jesus to ask for his help, right? And, the, and one woman is so desperate for Jesus' help that she reaches out just to touch him so that she can be healed, right? That's one way we respond. We ask for it, and Jesus is there with us. Matthew, who's a tax collector, isn't asking for Jesus' help. He may not even know that he needs his help, but Jesus invites him with this gift anyway. Come and follow me. And Matthew, without even thinking about it, just gets up and goes with Jesus. Not really knowing what the gift is, just that there's something going on here. But there's also a third group of people in the text today, and they're called the Pharisees. And the Pharisees had a different way of responding because they didn't really want what Jesus was offering. They didn't think that there was anything there. And not only did they not want it, they were trying to get other people to say no to that gift too. You shouldn't spend time with him and you shouldn't take those gifts. That's kind of tough, huh? Yeah. What if I could share it with somebody? Well, one of the lines in the story that we hear today sounds like this. It says, those who are not sick do not need a doctor. Does that sound about right? No. Yeah, if you're not sick, do you need a doctor? No. Not terribly. It's still helpful, but you don't need one. It's a little bit like saying, if you can't drive, you don't need a car. But it can still be useful. You could still need it one day, and so you're paying attention, right? And so we work really hard. What's that? Yeah. Someone on a grown-up, I might need it. I'm my concert. Yeah, you might need a grown-up car to drive to the concert. That would be a good thing. 
Yes, because you will be a rock and roll singer when you grow up. I love the promise. You know, we've got kids graduating today. Maybe one of them will do something like that too. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, Jesus was pointing out to those who weren't sure that anybody should listen to Jesus or follow Jesus. Um, Jesus was pointing out that they couldn't really understand the gift, that they didn't understand that it was a blessing that maybe they need today or maybe they'll need in a couple of weeks or maybe they don't even know that they'll ever need. But just like with the car earlier, we talked about this, right? Maybe one day I'll need a car or maybe somebody else could use the car or, right, maybe we don't even think we'll ever need a car. And that would be one of those beautiful gifts. So Jesus says, the gift that I give you, you might not know, or you might not think you need, but one day, one day it will be a blessing to you. And Matthew, Matthew followed in our text today. Matthew got up and he said, I, I don't know what it is, but I find that there is hope here. I want to go with Jesus. So sometimes we need help, and sometimes we don't know we need help. But Jesus never changes the way that he shows up for us, offering us help and a promise and a gift of grace. And that, that is our good news for today. So let's say a word of prayer. You ready? Dear God, God, thank you for Jesus, Jesus. who shares his gifts with us. us. Help us receive those gifts. So that we can share them. them. Just like Matthew did. did. Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming up, guys and gals.